Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to Hey Bartender. Again, not Gustavo. Again, left unsupervised behind the bar. So today what we're going to be doing is a honeydew ginger martini. And I thought this would be great, again, because at least here in San Diego, the weather is high 60s, low 70s. We're really feeling the springtime and I was looking for one of those transitional cocktails from winter to spring. Also, St. Patrick's Day is coming up and this is a green drink, so it's a great St. Patrick's Day cocktail recipe. Why don't we get started? I think we should just get started. Let's get started. Okay. So the first thing we need is two ounces of vodka. in there. The next thing we need is half an ounce of Midori or I'm actually just using melon, melon liqueur but I don't know why Midori reminds me of college. Anybody else? I still love it. It's amazing. Who doesn't love it? I've got a little extra in there. Oh college, those days. Half an ounce of Domaine de Canton, de Canton, which is a French ginger liqueur. And it's funny because I don't like ginger really that much, but I love ginger liqueur. Is that weird? I think it's weird. Half an ounce of that, if I forgot to say it. Uh, we're gonna do half an ounce of lemon juice. So this is fresh squeezed lemon, always recommended. Perfect. That's all I had. And one dash of bitters. I've never made a drink with bitters, so. I think that might have been more than one dash. We'll see. Shaky shake. Add some ice. And here we go. How do you guys do that all night? Seriously. Okay. Now this is a martini and it goes in a martini glass. So we're gonna use that. I was gonna use this, but then I realized maybe it won't fit, so. Fine, we'll stick to the recipe and use a martini glass. And I'm gonna double strain to um, get those ice chips out of there. I really have no words for this, but it landed perfectly and we're just gonna pretend that never happened. Seriously, you guys, this is a skill that I apparently don't have. Anyway, this is the martini. I'm just gonna throw a little lemon wedge on there, a lemon slice, let it float on there. And that's it. Should we take a little sip and see how it tastes? Better be good. Mmm. This is really good. This is like one of those like classy St. Patty's Day martinis. Like, come on, green beer. Go for one of these. It's light, it's refreshing, it's green. Everyone will love it. So, anyway, thanks for attending my amateur hour again and, um, Hopefully Gustavo keeps leaving me unattended. I'll see you guys later.